any retriever wants to retrieve. He wants to rush out and chase what you throw for him and bring it back. And what my job as a trainer is to do is to teach him to be steady. So it all becomes about timing, my timing for when he goes to pick the retrieve, not his timing. Um, and you need to teach that very carefully, very quietly, very patiently, lack of distraction. Absolutely, first of all, just do it with one dog. What then happens, 1st of September comes for me and I take that young dog shooting and for the first month or two he's pretty good and pretty sensible and I'm very careful and I don't do anything wrong and he sits there quietly and then both he and I relax and as the season wears on I'm aware that my young dogs and the older ones just start pushing me a bit. The older dogs will see a bird come over that they know has been shot and their bottoms lift off the ground and they're looking at it and they're looking at me and they're taking a step towards it. And I probably get a bit casual and give them the command to, to go and fetch it. So really I've given in to the dog's timing rather than mine. And if I'm unlucky, the young dog also picks up on that. And as I send an older dog, the young dog might even go too. Um, and out on the shooting field, you can't, you can't put that right. You can't suddenly start shouting and going and getting your dog and putting it on a lead and bringing it back to where it was. So you just have to take a deep breath and think, okay, that's a job to do through the spring and summer to make sure that steadiness is back again. So I'll do quite a bit of work of making sure the dogs are just listening to their name because their name always precedes them being sent for a retrieve, but also putting temptation in their way, sitting them up, throwing dummies around them, me going and picking them up just as I would have done with a young puppy. Then perhaps having two dogs together, sending one for a retrieve, making sure the other one's sitting and gradually building up my confidence in them again so that I know they're rock steady and ready to go shooting again come September, which always comes around incredibly quickly. It's all about balance. What you don't want is to make anything too exciting again for the dog. It's just another day at the office and they have to be calm and patient. And if you've got a calm and patient gun dog, you can't go wrong.